if you ask me, I'm the most biased person when it comes to property investing and developments, right? Because, you know, I, I am definitely a pro developer. But, you know, if you take a step back and think about real estate as a business, it's the third biggest industry in the world. I was looking at some stats and some numbers. There's close to about 2,700 billionaires in the world right now. And 8% of them made their wealth in real estate, which is, which is a big number, right? And so if you think about how many billionaires have diversified into real estate, mm. the number something looks like about 95% of people diversified into real estate, into keeping their wealth and securing their wealth. And so in the truest essence, it makes sense to invest in real estate to make it much more inflation proof or, or generational wealth. And how far do you go down the route is the question and that's what we're discussing today. And so if you think about creating the business we are properly investing, um, I always say this, that there is three ingredients to it when you're talking about these transitions. And so it's yield, growth and manufactured equity, which is almost like return on investment. Mm. And so when you are taking that transition from buy and hold strategies, what you're doing is you are bringing more focus on manufacturing your own equity by creating more profits through property development, small scale developments, renovations, etc. And so what you're doing is you are stepping away from that gamble of the market where the market is, you're at the mercy of the market to deliver growth to you all the time. And that's the transition that we are talking about. And how successfully do you do it? How cleanly do you do it? Um, is the question. And this is, you know... It, Naturally, it, the question becomes is... Yeah, as a, a, the, the question then becomes, well, because, you know, we've been talking about how to identify the the right suburbs and the right areas to invest in and because we want to be able to identify its areas of growth. Um, and the thing that we're doing with development, with, whether it's renovation or actually full-scale development, he said we're actually creating creating that growth that capital growth which we that particular area on that particular area might not have generally have have had definitely definitely and if you take it further a step away or further step ahead it doesn't matter which market are you talking about what macro environments are uh, you would be successful in doing it even in a downturning market, even when the interest rates are high, low, even during GFC, right? Global financial crisis. A lot of people made a lot of money even mm. during that time um, while the market was dropping. And I, I always say that you make the best money in the dropping market. And I made my best money in the dropping market, not in the rising market. Mm.